Welcome to my Atari ST Nostalgia Trip and this video is not really about a game. This video is about a piece of software that had the ambition to educate us all on how to properly type on computer keyboards. Yep, it's Typing Tutor from 1986 that included a game called Word Invaders to assess your typing skills in a fun and challenging way. And this is in no way a good game or anything, even if that magnificent box art tries to convince us otherwise. But this channel is not about great games nor is it about great gameplay. It's about my nostalgic look back at the stuff I did on the Atari ST when I was a kid and this little gem is part of it so I say we just have a look and have a go at Word Invaders after 35 years or something. And as you can see I am actually running the game in monochrome because I have to abide by the rules of my channel and this one ran in I think either medium resolution or monochrome or low resolution monochrome I don't exactly know and it's not very graphically impre impressive even if you play it in color. And I'm going to start off by actually um, going for... Well, isn't it that sound effect? I'm going to, to uh, do some easy level to just show you like what it was. In, in, in color, it actually shows the keys in color. It shows you where to, to place your index fingers, middle fingers and pinkies. Um, and then it will ask you to, to sort of type a few patterns. I'm using the fingers, of course, that it tells you to use, which I am not doing right now because I'm using my... Um, oh, you have to press enter. I'm using one index finger to type and the other index finger to press the spacebar, uh, which is also sort of the problem of this software. Um, it has the idea of the exercise to actually sort of connect your brain to the... Um, yeah, to the exercise and to, to make your fingers automatically move the proper... Um, yeah, press the proper letter with the proper finger uh, when your brain sees or thinks about what you want to type. Um, but of course there's nobody around to actually check what you're doing and I only made one error with a speed of 21 words per minute so it says very good but actually if there was a camera here or a person they would say I'm doing it all wrong and they say redo the exercise by brewing the proper finger placement that it said. So yeah and it will just go to, to lots of exercises which I'm not going to go through now because I just pressed escape to get back to the main menu because we are here to play a game of word invaders and and it has a little bit of a game intro with a sort of song which is not really a song but the game starts with the tonal sequence from close encounters of the third kind so i guess this is the nerdy part of this video because this sequence is actually a re mi do do so where the two do's are exactly one octave apart which is exactly what would happen if you actually would double the length of the string after the first do. So doubling or halving uh, the length of a string you play a note on actually shifts by exactly one octave and that physical and mathematical property would probably connect with the aliens they were trying to communicate with. And that's it's a nice touch to this game I guess and I'm really glad Steven Spielberg didn't sue them and at the same time in the movie they made this melody to sort of connect it peacefully with the aliens and here I am in a game trying to destroy them so I, I guess that's why the similarity falls apart. But I can, I can choose a typing level so I will choose level A and in this case I will type with speed number 2 and the invaders are boarding and now I, yeah, I have to basically uh, type the words and you can see now it's only, only letters. Oh. And I've enabled the key click because um, that will be my only uh, sound effect in the game. And you can see I can sort of uh, yeah, keep up with the, with the alien spaceship. Uh, but as soon as I complete a line it actually speeds up. So that feels a bit unfair but it actually after a few lines it will just uh, stop putting new uh, words there. And you have still some time to type the remainder of the text. And you have to do so um, before the text actually reach the ground. So that's the sort of similarity with Space Invaders uh, that I put in. And I don't know why I'm playing this. But yeah, I want to win this one. Honor, Phil, Seals, Read. See, and I'm making lots of typos. So it feels like a bit like I'm writing an email. Because I make lots of typos then as well. Full, full, jet, far, R. Go. Kid, air, elk. How many words do I have to type? 
entire part eight. See now the spaceship stopped uh, stopped uh, producing more words. So I just have to finish this line and then I will have uh, won the game. Jar air. See, there it goes. And I do apologize for the few sound effects to be actually actually being quite loud. Um, but yeah, I made eight errors, but I um, improved on my high score because it was zero. And now it's 1164. And I managed a speed of 32.4 words per minute, which is actually better than I thought I would do. At the same time, I have to admit, I was still typing with just my index fingers as I always do. So even if I played this game as a kid and used this program, uh, for me, it actually didn't achieve the goals that they were trying to achieve. So I probably need someone who actually um, stands beside me and corrects me if I'm wrong and gives me a good beating for it. I'm just going to go have another go at the highest level. Because why not? Um, because I probably have to show you what happens if you lose the game. Um, yeah, you should probably not get too excited. Uh, fix. Uh, so see now you have uh, commas etc. And the words get a little bit more difficult. Um, and you have to have numbers as well. Pop, pop, type. 3 slash 8 C type can please please take us not and of course it's not really trying to tell you a story because it makes no sense what the words uh, fix 1985 if that was not an instruction it's just random words and numbers And as you can see, this is actually going quite fast, so um, I will probably not manage to actually win this game, which is the whole point of the video. I want to show you what happens when I lose, but I still want to put in some sort of effort. And bad misses. Love fix cap quart pot to 57 now. Cool. Mrs. Stable, sir. Quip. Quiz. Oh, cube ready. 1983. No, I'm going to die. Mix. Club. Quick tipu. And um, pen. Zach. Busy Queen, half acres, and no, nope, that was not fast enough. And it says base destroyed. Uh, I was actually typing a little bit faster and made fewer errors, so my score in this game is actually quite a bit higher because I also chose a higher level, 69.49. I have no idea if it's really good or bad. It doesn't matter because I lost. And yeah, like I said, I'm still typing using only my index finger, so did this tutorial and game work well? I had to suffer when a kid, I did play the game, but yeah, there you go, uh, it didn't really help for me. And to be honest, I don't know what more to say about this one. Um, looking at my typing skills, the makers of this probably failed, but I do appreciate the effort to provide more than just joystick action to the microcomputer audience. Even if they're filled with me, or yeah, maybe I just filled them big time, uh, it's probably the latter. Lots of kids and adults probably actually learn a lot from this little piece of software, so kudos to the makers. and. Also a big thank you for actually watching this video because I, I can assume this was not the most inspirational one. Nonetheless, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.